Hi everyone, once again welcome to my channel and we are solving a very important data structure problem, reverse link list. So whenever we start programming, this problem will be our one of the first five problem we encountered. And this problem is like I can say it's marked as easy but it is not that easy if you try to think in recursion. In iterative it I can be easily understandable but coming up with the recursive solution is little tricky I can say. So let's try to first think how we can solve this problem as a recursively. So basically we are just given a link list and we need to reverse. So this is our starting hat from the one and it will go 5 and after reversing this will be reversed like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So how we can apply the recursion? So for the recursion what we can do we will keep moving it and swapping the links. So first we will try to as this place we are here. So at this place we need to swap this link. So how we will? So we will keep two pointers. So one is like we initialize somewhere over here that will call previous and head is as it is head is pointing over here. Uh, <coughs> so now what we need to do we need to first store the next pointer of the head. So we will keep store in some variable like list node next we will save first head dot next. So now we can modify head. So our head dot we save this as a next. And now what we can do head dot next. So we will change this link. So we will change head dot next is equals to previous. So whatever till the previous. So this we change that link to over here. Now we update our previous. So the next previous will become this head and this next next will become head. So we will call recursively. So here instead of here we just call in the recursor. So we will use a helper method. So this helper method will have two nodes like head. So here we will pass the next head will be the next node and the previous next previous will be the now the head node. So this we will call and what will the base condition. So base condition once we are here. So our previous will be over here and the head will be null somewhere. So whenever our head is null, if head is null, we will return previous as from here. So this is our base case and termination condition. So that is the idea. We will create a helper method and initial case we will call for head as head and the previous node is as null. So this is the idea. Now you can try to pause the video and try to code yourself. So here I have already written down the code for this approach. So this is I just call the helper method with the head as head or you can better to name instead of head over in this helper method as a current node so that you will get more clarity. So this current node once the current node is the null we will return the previous the previous is pointing to the the final node new head. So then we are storing the next node first and we are updating the head dot next to previous and then we are passing in helper. So let's try to submit this code. So this code is recursive and it got accepted. So the time complexity as we have n node will be O of n and space complexity will also be O of n as our recursion stacks will take O of n. So we can easily modify this like optimize the space complexity by converting this method into the iterative version. So for iterative version what we need to do so for head equal to null so this base condition we just convert it into the while had not equals to null until had is not null we will keep running while loop then we will define list node had as it is like this over here and after that like here we are swapping this node as well so we will update our previous so the previous will be updated with the had before that we also need to change our had to had next node. So this next we need to do in the next step. So this will be correct. So this we will update over here. So in the end our previous will be storing the head of this. So let's remove this code piece of code. Now try to compile this code iterative version. Hopefully it will oh there is a uh, yeah the typo is I need to define the first previous as well because in the recursive we called it from null and defined. So now let's retry it. Yeah, you can say we are getting expected answer. Now we can submit this and this will also get accepted. So it got accepted. 
Now the time complexity of iterative solution is same as the recursive O of n while the space complexity as there is no recursion college type we are just doing using few very constant variables so which is O of 1. So if you like this solution try other li linked list problem I have dedicated playlist I will share in the description section as well. If you like the solution hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.